Our muscles provide us with the ability to walk, speak, swallow and breathe. Muscles are controlled by motor neurons located in the spinal cord. The axons of motor neurons are connected to our muscles through large nerve bundles and form specialized endings on individual muscle fibers. These so-called neuromuscular junctions transfer information from the motor neuron onto the muscle fiber, leading to its contraction to movement. In amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, or ALS, motor neurons and their axons degenerate. Unable to function, muscles weaken and patients ultimately lose the ability to initiate or control movement, leading to death within three to five years after disease onset. There is currently no cure for ALS. Although the cause of this disease is poorly understood, changes in the DNA of ALS patients lead to the production of defective proteins with an abnormal function and distribution. In ALS, proteins accumulate in large aggregates. These aggregates prevent proteins from localizing to that part of the motor neuron where they normally function. An important current hypothesis in ALS research is that protein aggregation results in a reduction of essential proteins in motor axons. This reduction leads to defects in the maintenance of motor axons and neuromuscular junctions, and as a result, to loss of muscle innovation. At the UMC Utrecht, we believe that changes in motor axons and neuromuscular junctions are an important and early event in the pathogenesis of ALS. We are investigating how and why axons and neuromuscular junctions change in ALS and how we can treat these changes.